Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. We are here today to check out which brand new games we're going to play on our PlayStation VR 2 next week. But also we're gonna wrap up all the new game announcements and all the biggest news. So let's get started and maybe let's begin from the new releases next week and starting off from the last worker coming to you on the 30th of March, which is next week, <laughs> believe it or not. Times fly. Uh, just not so long ago we've been counting days to PSVR 2 and look at that, we over a uh, month in now and we're getting some nice weekly releases. The meaning and the message of the last worker is you are the worker in a big massive mega corporation company where there is no more human workers left apart from you, you the last one, and then the game gonna take you deeper uh, into the deepest of the deep secrets of this corporation and you're gonna find out and see what's going on and what's this big company hiding, what secrets are lurking be beneath the shell of a company, what is going on, what is the meaning, what is the message, that's, that's the last worker, that's what is going to happen. And then, after that, just a day after, one day after Ragnarok getting an update, now the developers then said what this update is, but they saying it's an update. Uh, and it's got like a chicken noises in the background. So I'm assuming maybe some new game mode, or maybe uh, this is gonna be something else, like maybe, uh, I don't know, brand new soundtrack, new band to listen to? Who knows, who knows, uh, but it's gonna be something cool. Ragnarok, many of you likes it. Now, here we are, uh, this, is, this is importance here, of utmost importance, uh, probably the best release next week, and it's just an update. But anyway, this is the director, uh, creator, and the awesome dude who made us Gran Turismo series, including GT7, and it's PlayStation VR 2 support, which is the king of racing games, and he said that update is coming next week, and this is of course teaser edge of the cars that will appear next week. But listen, the comment sections exist for a reason, and this reason is to tell us what those cars are. So of course somebody got here, new Mazda 3, brighten it up, there's one dude who got everything right, I think, so let's go straight down there. This is people brightened the picture, so you can see the better, better shapes of the cars, and it looks like those cars are them ones. Look at this Porsche here. This is the new Mazda. Look at this. What's going on? Is that Suzuki, Toyota? I don't know. But anyway, you're gonna have all those cars looks like they come in. For, of course, totally free. You have to use in-game currency, so get some uh, money in your gaming wallet. Uh, I wonder if they're gonna bring new track or not. Uh, I have no idea. But GT7 getting another update. They are monthly updates. The developer said they, 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 they don't mean to have monthly updates, but it just somehow happening. So there you have it, uh, looking pretty cool. Okay, now we've got that out of way. Now uh, let's move on maybe to some brand new PlayStation VR 2 games announcements. So our section when we're talking about next week's releases, we've done with it. So that was the three releases. Sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes new newcomers to the channel get confused and thinking every single game I'm talking about is happening next week. No, we've done the three next week releases now. We draw in a line and we're talking about brand new game announcements that's gonna come to PSVR 2 eventually at some point of our lives. Let's begin, let's get started. And the start edge begins from Pixel Ripped 1978. So, this is the game uh, that's got announced and it's been done with a partnership with Atari, which allows the developers to make the game more realistic, maybe uh, more like more, you know, in line with what actually used to happen. That 1978, I wasn't arrived then. I saw, you know, the old good Atari 2400. I even had it. I even had it. I used to play this frog game, the one of two fro frogs jumping from one side to another catching flies. I, I remember that. Oh, I was good at it. But anyway, Pixel Deep 1978 is I think you're becoming a game developer in the early days of the game development and you're trying to squish all the bugs that's happening in the games and you're fixing them. But that's not an only announcement because Pixel Deep 1995 you remember this game? Uh, it's a game uh, which is in the Pixel Deep universe. But anyway, it's been out on PSVR 1 and the developer said in their uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter edge that this game will be coming to PlayStation VR 2 as well. So Pixel Deep 1995 will get PSVR 2 support. 
Another game that is happening coming from Polyarch, the developers of Moss Book 1 and 2. And this game is called Nobody Knows What, because it has no name yet. But it features some characters on the Moss, but it's a different type of game totally, because it's an online uh, player versus player game, I think. So yeah, so online fighting game in the world of Moss. Another one heavily inspired by the likes of Boneworks and Bone Lab, and this one is called Into the Darkness. Coming from my Polish bros from Polish lands, they developing this game. Meant to be PC only, but now they bring it to Quest and PSVR 2 because probably they realize they need some sales. PSVR 2 version gonna be same as the PC version, if not better probably, I don't know. Uh, and this is uh, very, very physically and interactive, physical interactions. That's the meaning and the message of this game. And speaking about the physics and the meaning and the message, next game is got very simple meaning and message. It's a ping pong game, the, probably the best ping pong game that ever was. Those of you who played it on PC, you telling me how amazing it is because they nailed the physics to the tiniest of the uh, nail edges. Uh, so this is 11 table tennis and the meaning and the message is super simple because it's table tennis and of course down there you play in ping pong and go pew 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 with your tennis rocket and another game what you all love on PSVR 1 and what you all want to play on PSVR 2 is drunken bar fight finally finally the developer said uh, on Twitter uh, listen let me let you know that we are doing PlayStation VR 2 version to everyone happiness. It's a one of the first of those, let's say, virtu virtual reality brawling games and still one of the most popular thanks to its all around hilariousness, tons of objects you can use and different ways that this game allows you to beat people up. Had a countless of updates and now finally coming to PSVR 2. Okay, so that was the brand new games announcements, but you got some more things to talk about, which is wrapping up some news from the past week. So this is the wrap up of the news. We drawn the line uh, on next week releases, then we drawn the line on new games announcements. Now we drawing the line on the news. We beginning from Amid Evil. This is a game that was flat and it was like a, this nostalgia throwback to the nostalgic people of nostalgia times. Let's say 90s first person shooter games uh, when the times was simpler yes and the game was one well, games was cool uh, you know no dlcs no microtransactions no none of that business was down there you just got game and you played it very long time because they was expensive but anyway this is amidifil reminds me of heretic and hexen both of them maybe hexen more i don't know but anyway it's, it's been flat and the developer said they doing the virtual reality mode and the VR mode will come first to the PC and Quest platforms. But apart from that, they said that yes, yes, we gonna do this game for PlayStation VR 2 as well. Uh, I spoke about it before and had no VR footage, but this trailer is from the VR version and I must say it looks absolutely fantastic. Now, another game that had brand new trailer was uh, another Fisher's Man tale. But sadly, I can't show you because it got copyright claims and the video just gets demonetized for some reason for it. So I'm not gonna show you. We're gonna show you yet another trailer, which is Kill It with Fire VR. And this is a game all about the spiders and you have to kill them. Now, to me, is basically uh, with spiders, well, with the spiders, uh, what I'm seeing is that they are good because spiders kill flies. If you had no spiders, believe it or not, we would be infested by flies. Our lives wouldn't be worth living because there would be flies everywhere. And you know what? It wouldn't be a pleasure at all. But th thanks to the spiders, there is no that many flies. They, you know, they like good control. They doing good population control here. The spiders, um, you know, killing the uh, undesirables, let's say. <laughs> but anyway, kill it with fire. It will happen uh, on PSVR 2. And here we are in the background, another trailer for another game, which is Hello Neighbor. And this is, of course, being shown off during future game shows live, which happened just day before yesterday. So the game is delayed, but it's coming uh, Hello Neighbor popular franchise and it's making its first entrance in VR with Hello Neighbor Search and Rescue. 
Okay, that's it for now. Let me know which game you're picking up. I'm definitely cannot wait to check out the Gran Turismo update. That's gonna be awesome. We don't know what else we're getting. Might be something else. We don't know what fixes and what improvements gonna be, uh, you know, coming with this update. But anyway, it is pretty awesome. And from me, that's it. Stick, stick around for all the latest PSVR 2 news, reviews and everything else. And for now, that's it. Bye, 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 bye.